Rev up your engines. Welcome to Mechanic Monday. Today I'm going to show you the top five uses of WD-40. Now I've been using WD-40 since I was a kid, and the only thing I had against it was they used to have those plastic straws. They're always flying off, couldn't get them in the right place. This is a metal articulated one, so when you bend it, it stays in whatever position you want so you can spray it in. It's a great advance in spray lubricants. Now, from what I've read over the years, they've changed their formula to make it even better. Because now it's not just a penetrating oil, it's also a cleaner and a lubricant. So it does all three things at the same time. And the number one use is door locks. You can use it to clean, lubricate, and protect. You do it so your locks don't have any problems. And do it on your ignition switch too. And I know some guys are going to say, oh, don't use it on locks, it clogs them up. No, it doesn't. It actually cleans them and lubricates them, so you won't have any problems. Now, it also dissipates water. So if you went through a lot of water, it rained a lot, and your electronics act up, you can spray it, and that'll help dissipate water so your car will start missing, say, if it went through a puddle and got the electronics wet. Over the years, guys have brought me cars that were flooded out or went through a giant puddle and then stalled out. I'd spray the electronic parts with it. Hey, then it would start running fine again. Let's say your wheels are stuck on and won't come off. Well, spray WD-40 all inside. Now we give it a little kick, and off it comes. Then before you put it back together, spray it on the inside so the mating surface won't get all stuck together. And if your brake drums won't come off, Spray the middle here where it sticks on, on the hub. Then a couple of whacks, and guess what? Now you can get it off. And then coat the inside part here to keep it from sticking next time. Now the last thing that's commonly used for is kind of a sleazy one. It can make your paint really shiny for a short period of time. Here's faded paint. Spray it on and wipe it off. Get nice and buffy. And now look how it shines. I've had a few customers in the past buy used cars. They're all shiny. Then they came to me a couple months later and says, what's happened to my car? The paint's all flat and it looks blotchy. And I explained, oh, the guys that sold this year probably polished it with WD-40 to make it look good and shiny because it resists water. And so when it rains, it looks nice. But of course, when it wears off, <laughs> the paint underneath is bad and it's still going to look horrible a little while after you put it on. But say you're low on money and you got a hot date, heck, polish up your car to look really good for a little while. <laughs> and since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving this away to one of my fans. To win it, just post a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below and a computer will randomly pick the winner. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell.